Hey everyone, welcome back to Mortal Kombat 1. This video is going to be part 2 of my tutorial slash guide series for this game, where I try to give you guys some helpful tips and tricks that you can use to get better at this game, improve your game and yeah, get more dubs online. As always, if you do like this series and these videos, do give this a like, it really helps out, comment on what you would like to see next. And yeah, let's get into this. In this video, I'm going to be covering more practice mode stuff and I'm going to be showing you how to find counters to moves and strings which are just like absolutely destroying you online or offline, it doesn't really matter. Uh, there's a lot of tricky stuff in this game. There are a lot of characters with like overheads and lows, both in their strings and special moves. And you might be against one of these characters online and you have no idea what they're doing. You're just like getting hit by random stuff. You don't know what to block, what to do. And yeah, you just like completely get destroyed. When that happens, my biggest advice to you is find counters to that. Don't just beat your head against the wall and sort of just like try to brute force your way through that because there's no point. Practice mode exists for this very reason. I think Smoke is a prime example of one of these characters that like really catches people. He has a lot of noob killer moves both in his specials and his strings because listen, we've all been online, we've all had some Wi-Fi warriors who are going to be doing a lot of this and it's just terrible. And this. Yeah, so Smoke has this special move sort of uh, combo where he has both an overhead and both a low special move and yeah it's kind of a noob killer but there are counters to it the question is how do you find your those counters well i kind of showed you step number one what you have to do is go into practice mode pick that opponent find the moves that are catching you and use the playback recording session to record those moves once you have these moves that you're having trouble with recorded, see I have whatever the, the low teleport here, the overhead move here. What you need to do or what you should be doing is on the playback options, play go to random hidden. There are a couple of options here. You can select the move with the right stick that he's gonna do. It can be auto, which just plays them in order. It can be random but random hidden is the best option because if you just go to random uh, the game will actually show you which one of the recording slots your opponent will be doing go to random hidden where it doesn't show you so basically what's going to be happening is now smokes ai is going to be cycling through both of these recordings you press that and now see i just blocked the overhead i just blocked the overhead again now the low. Using this and having that randomized element can really help condition you. See, I messed up there. Can really help condition you to sort of see what your opponent is doing and when to block and how to block. Okay, so now you basically have the stage set. You have the moves recorded that you're having trouble with and now you have figured out how to block against them. Step one is done. Step two now is how do you find counters to them? Well, you already basically have everything you need. Once you know how to block the tricky moves, all you need to do is start experimenting with your character's moves and see what works, see what doesn't work. It really helps if you have some of the BMBs down, your basic combos for set character, your character, because it will really help you see how much damage you can get on your opponent for them doing some bullshit. See, I'm already learning. I'm punishing Smoke's overhead move, but what I'm seeing here is that the 1-1 one -one doesn't always work. That's the other thing. I've kind of figured this out already, but I'll mention it here. There is, when Smoke does his low teleport, there is a portion of the move where during the recovery, if you block the move, he's still airborne. Uh, if the opponent is airborne, you cannot get optimal punishes because you see, I'm already sort of like messing up the combos because he's airborne. 
I've already learned that when I block a smoke low teleport, I need to actually wait for him to hit the ground. The recovery is so long, you see, I'm like using one of my slowest moves and I'm still getting a full combo punish. But this is the type of information that I'm looking for when I go into practice mode. I'm looking for what are my optional optimal punishes, how do I actually punish a move, and how do I actually block it. And listen, using practice mode like this is the best way to train yourself. You're training both your blocking and your reactions, and you're training your moves, and you're training your sort of muscle memory to know what to do when you block one of these moves. I can confidently say that if there is now a smoke online, unless it's like a 200 ping McDonald's Wi-Fi warrior, I now am pretty confident I'll be able to counter him because I've conditioned myself so much with practicing this and the punishes that I basically have this down. And listen, you don't even have to limit yourself to just special moves. Smoke also has some tricky strings, I'll try to remember them, but one of them is definitely this. It is an overhead and low. You've now added this to the, the string. So now he's going to be mixing up his special moves, that string, and yeah, that's basically it. And I think he has another one as well, uh, which is like, let me try and get this, it's like forward two. Yeah, it is. So now... I basically have all of the tricky moves that Smoke has that I might be having trouble with and I can begin figuring out counters as well as conditioning myself to block. Let me tell you, this practice mode and the recording feature is the best feature in any fighting game. It's one of the most important features because you see, I've conditioned and practiced this so much now that I can block this and punish 90% of the time and I again I'm just showing you this because I see so many people just like get hit by the random stuff and instead of practicing out what to do they just rage and call for nerfs and call the character bullshit it's absolutely not the case most things have counters I say most things because I can't deny that there are OP characters in this game, there are OP characters in every Mortal Kombat game, the balance is always messed up, so uh, don't even like try to make sense of some of the balance, but like I said, my tip is, instead of bitching and complaining, go into practice mode because there's a counter for everything. Train yourself and yeah, destroy those random ass smokes and sub-zeros and whatever online. That's definitely next on my list. I need to find better counters for Ice Clone. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go into practice mode and work it all out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Hope this helped out. If it did, as always, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe. I don't know if I've said this already. If I did, sorry for the repetition. And yeah, there's gonna be more MK videos coming. Just wanted to sort of talk about this because practice mode is important, man. Alright, thanks for watching everyone, peace out and goodbye.